Hey guys, it's Courier Girl, and my face is a little red because it's freaking hot out, and that's what happens to me when it gets hot out. I'm feeling great, but my skin flushes, so whatever. All right, so today I want to talk about how important it is to have a savings plan and an emergency fund. Because courier work, while it can be consistent in some, in some areas, it can also be super inconsistent. And you can find yourself with your income cut down by quite a bit, when a job ends or a route ends or they change things or whatever. So what I do is when the going's good, when I'm making lots of money, instead of upping my lifestyle right away, I start saving the extra money. Like I set a budget and I'm like, okay, this is what I can live on. And all the rest of the money I get is going to go into savings because I don't want to get caught with less income and then I can't cover the bills. And the other thing that I do is I keep my debt load super low. So I try to make sure that I have almost no debt. Actually, I don't have any debt other than this van, which I'm going to pay off here in a couple months. So because I do that, I don't have to make payments all the time. Like I'm not obligated to make very many payments. So if I have a month or two where I'm not making as much, I can coast. I don't have to like freak out and go scramble around and look for other other work. Now another thing you can do if you're not in that position, you know, it's me, my kids are grown, it's just me right now so I don't have, you know, all the other stuff that comes with having a family. But if you're not in that position, you've got family, you've got high expenses and stuff like that, then I would have a couple stopgap backup plans. So let's say that you have a main route and you're doing some on-demand work on the side and something happens in your main route ends. Maybe the contract ends, maybe they change up how they do things, maybe um, something happens with the pricing. It, a lot of things could happen. So what you want to do is have a backup plan. Can you pick up more on-demand work? Can you temporarily do stuff like Uber or DoorDash or Instacart or one of those that will, you know, they're easy to do, they're quick, you just load the app and you go, and it's going to get you some income bring, you know, coming in right away. It may not be what you want to do the whole time, but in a pinch it's going to work. Can you go work somewhere for a little while? Are there expenses that you can cut? You know, one thing that I do when I have like car payments and stuff like that, is I always pay more. So like this van payment is $204. It's not very much. And I um, got it at the longest term possible for a used vehicle, which was like six years. And people are like, oh my God, six years, that's a lot. But it's because I wanted that lower payment. Now, do I make that lower payment? No. I pay $300 a month and here in a couple months I have a lump sum coming in and I'm going to just pay the thing off. But if I were in a pinch and I really was, you know, stretched for income, I could make a payment of $204 for one month or two months. I like having that, um, that feeling that if things were really bad I could still make at least the minimum payment. As far as credit card goes, I pay them off every month, but if I was in a pinch, I could pay the interest and make the minimum payments for a couple months and still get by, but I don't have to do that because I live below my means. So to me, that's really important. I would rather have more free time and more love in my life and more family and more friends than I would have a lot of debt and a lot of stuff to show for off my debt, you know? Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to talk about those things. Hopefully you find some of this helpful and I will see you on the road.